the Bulls are doing a little throwback news, which is what the Bulls brand has been living on for the last 25 years is the 90s. Night last then Michael Jordan. Woo. They have announced that they'll be doing a Chicago Bulls Ring of Honor, and that basically to honor all the great players in uh Chicago Bulls uh franchise history, uh, which would be uh, a good thing. I feel like more franchises need to have that, and that's really just for not even just the players, really for players who who, who are good who are great for the franchise and you know, not Hall of Fame uh you know, caliber players, and maybe they don't want to retire their jersey. Even though the, the Bulls be stingy with jersey retirements for, for no type of reason. They act like they're the Celtics or the, or the Lakers. Like, they have a great franchise. We just don't retire anybody numbers. But the first uh, induction of uh, this team will be announced on January 12th. I mean, it will be inducted on January 12th at the United Center against the Golden State Warriors. They will be uh, inducting the entire 1995-1996 Chicago Bulls team, uh, which had the 72 wins and is the greatest team in the history of the NBA. You know, the Warriors broke it in 2016. They didn't win the championship. So guess what? No dice, no rice, no champagne, no nothing. It don't matter. Still the best team. So Steve Kerr, who coaches the Warriors, he will be there as part of the induction. And they have 13 individuals who will be going in the first class of the Chicago Bulls Uh Ring of Honor, and they'll be inducted people every two years. So this is the first batch of people who will be inducted into the Chicago Bulls uh, Ring of Honor. It will be Scottie Pippen, uh, one of the greatest players of all time, arguably second best player in, in, in Chicago Bulls history. I probably would still go Derrick Rose, but you can sell me on Scotty. <clears throat> one of the greatest power, one of the greatest small forwards of all time, one of the best defenders of all time, six-time NBA champion. You can say whatever you want to say about the man personally, uh, but basketball-wise, the Bulls will not have six NBA championships without this dude. He already has his jersey up in the Raptors. Scotty Pippen will be inducted into the Chicago Bulls Ring of Honor. Uh, Bob Love, the legendary Bob Love, his number 10 is also in the Raptors at the United Center. He will be a part of the inaugural class. Jerry Sloan, one and only gentleman, Jerry Sloan, legendary coach as well. Uh, R.I.P. Jerry Sloan. He also has number four up in the rafters of the United Center. He will be inducted. Artist Gilmore, one of the original centers in the history of the Bulls. He will be inducted. The GOAT coach of all time, Bill Jackson, will be inducted. Uh, the one, the legendary, legendary, iconic Johnny Red Kerr as a young Bulls fan in the 90s. Heard Johnny Kerr on, on you know, uh, calling those legendary games. Uh, he be inducted into the ring of honor. Uh, who else are we in there? We got original owner Dick Klein, general manager Jerry Cross. You can sit up here, say if you want to say about Jerry Cross. I think Jerry Cross gets a lot of unnecessary hate. I think he is the greatest general manager uh, in Chicago sports history. I think, uh, you know, six NBA championships. Yes, he didn't draft Michael Jordan, but he drafted Scottie Pippen. He drafted Horace Grant. Um, you know, he saw what, who he needed in, uh, in uh, Tony Kukoc. Saved Dennis Rodman, brought him over here. You know, you can be looking, even when Jordan retired, he got a lot of other people. You know, he drafted uh, Elton Brand, drafted Ron Artest, drafted Brad Miller, drafted Jamal Crawford. Like, he was a really great general manager. I, mean, I don't understand why people like, didn't like him, broke up a team ego-wise and said things like, well, organizations win championships, which the nigga really wasn't wrong. He was saying the slight might, but he wasn't really wrong. As we see here now, the Bulls haven't been doing anything because of organizations. But Jerry Cross will be going into the Bulls' ring of honor. Tony Kukoc, man, my man Kukoc, he will be inducted. Also, the worm, Dennis Rodman, his 91 should be in the rafters, but Dennis Rodman will be joining the Chicago Bulls' ring of honor. Chet Walker, assistant coach, Tex Winter, the architect of the Doberman uh, defense, Oh uh, no, not the Doberman. That's uh, my man uh, Johnny Bach. Now, Tex Winter invented the triangle offense. My correction. Uh, those will all be inducted, and of course, of course, last but certainly not least, not only the greatest player in franchise history, not only the greatest player in Chicago sports history, the greatest player in NBA history, and maybe even the greatest athletes ever walked this earth. Michael Big Jeff Jeffrey Jordan will be inducted into the Chicago Bulls ring of honor. Of course, this number 23 is in the Raptors. Now, the question is, the big question is, will Michael Jordan come to the uh, ceremony? Will Scottie Pippen come to the ceremony? If I had to bet money, I think Michael Jordan will be there. I'm pretty sure Michael Jordan will be there. I'm not I'm not sure that Scottie will be. We all know Scottie had a big breakup with the Bulls with, you know, the you know him leaving as a team ambassador. And they replaced him with Horace Grant. 
we all know things that was going on in his personal life. Uh, his his ex wife running around with Michael Jordan's uh, youngest son. So I I would be so I would be straight up stunned if Scottie Pippen is at the United Center on January 12th, if Michael Jordan's there. Now, Michael Jordan calls the Bulls to say he's not going to be there. Then, yeah, I will see Scotty there. I think Michael's going to be there. I'm, 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 I will almost bet money that Michael's going to be there. I don't think Scotty's going to be there, but this is a, it's a good thing for them. Um, this this class is obviously, obviously, uh, no brainer. I'm looking forward to the second class of 2026 because that's when I think you're going to see some of the younger Bulls. Like you're going to see the Derrick Roses, you're going to see the Joe Kim Noahs, Luau Dangs, the Kurt Heinrichs, uh, and things like that. So I think it's a big thing. I think it's great. I think the Bears need to adopt this more than anybody. Because the Bears uh, do not retire numbers anymore because they've run out of them to retire, which I get. The Bears have the most Hall of Famers in NFL history, um, so they run out. But they need they need a hall. They need a Ring of Honor too. Maybe that's part of the whenever whenever they build a new stadium. Uh, maybe that's part of the plans for that. But kudos to the Reinsdorfs uh, for that. If there's anything I give them credit for is that. But uh, the rest of that stuff you need to get the house in order. Man. Money on the other line.